Hold up. Good morning YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Talk Players. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's time for the last part of the Year of the Orcs challenge. We have the very last chapter of it. We will get now our last red envelope. Um, I should be a little bit among top 30. Yeah, there we go. 25th. Didn't really have a chance yet to grab any top 10, I think. Did I? No, I don't think so. Maybe a little bit later, um, but it's not that important. I mean, in the end, all we want is one beautiful thing. It's not this, it's not this, it's this. We want our next red envelope and we will use that right away to join the challenge. And it was quite challenging. I can tell you that. Here we go. The first round is already like a, like a, like a, wow, our outstanding round. Here we have five times off-road, five times off-road. But the opponents are not that strong here. That one is easy to beat, standardized. You can definitely beat that. You don't need, that's an absolutely overpowered version of using a lunch here. <clears throat> you don't really need that. Then here, Dirt Road. Actually, bad choice. You could just use something fast because it is a mix of asphalt and dirt. Then here, Peugeot. Here you could, for example, use a Humvee, which you hopefully got previously. And here on one I'm half mile drag, well, yeah, don't forget this is not even coming. I think it is on Skyline, could be a good choice here since it comes with four wheel drive. Then here the Aspen is like, all right, take that, our first seven and a half grand. Then we're going into the next round now. And as you can see, it's going to be very rainy, but the opponents are still, it's, they're still going easy on you, except maybe no, actually it's fine. Zero to 100, that, that Mercedes is not the best choice. And you could just use something fast, even though the Mercedes will have a little bit of an advantage in the beginning. At the end, it's really about how fast you can get off. And he, the Nissan Skyline is a perfect choice there, yeah, perfect choice. Then here, we have grass, don't forget that. You don't need a legendary Beamer for that. Um, you actually just need that Land Rover maxed out, that rare Land Rover, and you might have maxed that out, or even not maxed out, since it's barely touched, I think. Then here, yeah, half mile, I wouldn't say the lunch is really a great choice, and again, Skyline could work very well. Then here, yeah, something for wheel drive would be great, because that Lotus is not the worst of its kind. Then we're going into the next round now, and right at the start you will see a Pagani on the hill climb dirt. It's not gonna work, so that's going to be a do not finish. So that's, as long as you finish that, as long as you finish that hill climb, that's 250 points for you, my friend. Uh, make sure you do that, doesn't matter what you use for that. Uh, then on round two, zero to 100 again, a little bit overpowered version here for me. On round three, it's interesting, um, that Chrysler, great car, great car, look at that, look at that, actually super excited that I have two of them, uh, we'll max those babies out, test bolt, you don't need, you don't need a four-wheel drive standardized car, absolutely not, anything fast is, is, is good, as long as you don't grab your slick tires, yeah, GeForce test, well, I would say, yeah, that Evo is very, Evo or standard tires, but ultra rare level at least is needed to beat that one. Okay, then here we go next. It's getting a little bit more tricky, GeForce test, slalom test. Even though those are not four-wheel drive standard tires, it's definitely getting more tricky. Um, here we have that Volvo. Uh, many of you guys probably have that one, so you would need something stronger than that. Just to match it is not gonna be good enough. Maybe the Volvo could beat, could beat, Porsche here or the roof um, same for this one but um, I didn't try it I used the um, epic Mercedes here so but let me know down below if you used anything else here twisty circuit there we go I used something else before I actually thought like hey I just want to be fast but in the end now nah, you want to use standardize at least I did and that worked well for me or maybe the Nissan Skyline but the Nissan Skyline I already used a little bit later Okay, then we have here, that is an old okay round, uh, maybe a quarter mile drag, but on quarter mile drag, if you don't, for example, if you don't have the Renault, the Epic Renault, 
then what about why not using the Chrysler, which we just saw a few rounds before, which is actually a pretty strong ultra rare, right? And I think 3.7 is 0 to 60 time. So this might be a great match uh, to beat that Lotus. Uh, let's see what the Lotus time is. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Yes, Lotus is running at 12.11. Okay, well, I think that's beatable. Uh, let me know down below actually if you use the Chrysler. What is the Chrysler running on the Quadama? There we go. Seven and a half grand. We're halfway through. The next five rounds are coming in. And here you immediately see double, double Bugatti action. And then just triple times as fast as possible. I would say it's a game changing round. Because if you can't beat the quarter mile drags here, and so on, dead. They're getting out the heavy guns here. They're getting out the heavy guns. Even though they give you extra points here on city streets because, you know, low ground clearance is is a bad choice for city streets. But don't forget, don't forget, this you you're fighting Bugattis here. So even if you have a look at this, even if you have a strong city streets car, and I would absolutely consider the Evo a super strong city streets car. Um, you see, it's like you barely did any points there on top, so I think that's a round where you need to beat all of them. They don't really give you bonus points. This again, here's then a little bit easier. I feel like the round before was so much more difficult. Ocean City Streets, um, don't forget, medium ground clearance is what you need at least, um, because you will have you go through the uh, car wash, I think. Um, then here, yeah, Ocean Short Track. I think there are different choices. Again, the Chrysler could be very useful for this one. And we have the McLaren using here. And then we have here, well, the Aston Martin, many of you, I don't know, is that actually a year of the Ox car? Some people might have it because it was given out as a challenge reward back in the days. I actually missed that one. I think that's one of the only ones I missed out. Funny enough, okay. Then we have round eight. Round eight, here you go. We have a little bit of mixed. We got Canyon Dirt Road, we got Canyon Butt. Um, then we got Twisty Circuit GeForce Test and Ocean Parking Lot. Yeah, it's. I can tell you as much as not gonna be much easier here. It's not, <laughs> there's one more round, which is um, very, which was tricky for me and I probably did it a few times. I think like five or six times until I figured out I actually have the right cars, I just used them in the wrong combination. And a little disclaimer now, and um, many people will say now, oh, I didn't get that far, and maybe you did challenge 2 only, or you finished only challenge 3 or challenge 4. However, see that as an accomplishment. Don't forget, as, uh, you need to have a certain kind of pack luck. Then you should put uh, into mind as well, keep in mind that uh, how long did you play top twice? I'm playing top twice now almost since the beginning of top twice. Opened tons of packs and so on. My garage obviously looks stronger. However, there, there's still ways to even increase the, um, the amount here, the garage. But, so don't worry if you don't get that legendary. I, I doubt this legendary will be such a game changer. Absolutely. But here, um, let's talk about this round. Very, very tricky. Why? Why? So the first two are fine. Absolutely fine. Probably many people have chances, have options to beat that. But here, this Lotus Exceed was giving me such a headache. I used all kinds of standardized cars. Didn't work. I used my Nissan Skyline. Didn't work. But, and I even used the Epic Mercedes. Didn't work. And I switched it then because I previously used the Evo against the Lamborghini and then the Epic Mercedes against the Lotus, which didn't work. And then I switched it around and that worked. And yeah, speaking about the legendary here, which might not be the most useful, I can tell you if, if I could choose, if I could choose, I'd rather take, for example, a second Evo than this legendary. Absolutely, than this legendary. So don't worry, if you miss out on that, that's not the end of the world. It's fine, it's fine. Um, rather focus on getting some really important ultras if we speak about uh, yeah the Chrysler could be super important or Nissan Skyline or an Infinity here so there are really some really good ultras or if you talk about epics like I said I would love to switch that Beamer for another Evo 
for example, um, one of the best city streets cars out there. Absolutely, especially for the amount I used it. And I think what we should do, what we absolutely should do, is um, maybe I'm, we should go back in yeah in three months and look back at the uh, Bima, and then actually we see. How many times did I use this? Has this car been so useful? Because don't forget that Beamer, that M3 GTR, is kind of slick to us. And it is a price car. That, that means in, in many in many events, there will be restrictions where they will say, no price cars, my friends, no price cars. Which is nice on one side because um, they want to uh, keep it more competitive. You don't want to like fight a bunch of price cars all the time. Um, you want to keep it more competitive and uh, more easier for, for everybody else, even though it's still super difficult, let's be honest. But here we go, price car, BMW M3 GTR, 81RQ, slick tires, like I said. Mm. However, I'm happy, I'm happy having it, um, but I have no idea how many times I'm going to use this car. And that's why in three months, we will have a look back. We will have a look back on this car and be like, how useful was this Beamer? But for a second, let's actually upgrade it and see how the stats look like when you upgrade it. Okay, first of all, we lock it and then let's put this in. Okay, what are we, 3, 2, and 95 maybe? However, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Top Tries. I wish you such a pleasant day. And subscribe if you want to see more Top Tries. And bye bye.